everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday, July 15th, 2019. That's some of you might know from some of my previous videos. I'm trying to save my bus. So I'm gonna try to get seven boardings in and then go to work. My work starts at nine. Then I'm just gonna take you guys through my week because I feel like I haven't really done a weekly vlog in a while. So I've been starting my mornings watching the sunrise because of the whole bus situation. And I honestly really like being awake before the rest of the world. There's something that's just really nice and peaceful about it. back home now nothing really eventful happened at work it was really really slow only about five people came in in the entire time that i was there but we have orientation tomorrow so that should be fun yeah, i'm really tired from waking up at the crack of dawn this morning to take the bus i'm probably just gonna make some dinner and then lie down and go to sleep so it's the next day now and i'm just about to head to work for orientation i didn't wake up at the crack of dawn this morning to take the bus because i have a really important meeting tonight and i want to be well rested for that so i'm gonna try to get some extra boardings tomorrow to make up for it so i'm gonna leave for work now we have freshman orientation today which is all always really awesome because I get to meet some of you and promote sustainable transportation. So I'm back home now and I'm just about to leave for the California High Speed Rail Working Group. I'm really excited to be representing SJSU and College Transportation Demand Management on the working group. This is the next day now and I'm at a bus stop uh, waiting for the bus. Just wanted to give you all a little update on the working group meeting. It went pretty well. It was kind of different from what I expected. The age distribution was not very equal. There are a lot of old people from neighborhood associations that were really opposed to the alternative that the staff was presenting because it would impact their neighborhoods and they didn't really seem to care that much about high-speed rail or transit in general. So that was kind of disappointing, but there were some good people there that said some good things. And it was obviously a huge honor to be a part of the working group. So now I'm just doing my normal routine of getting seven boardings before work. So it's Thursday now. I didn't really vlog much yesterday, but I basically just went to work. And then I went to Silicon Valley Transit Users Meeting after work. And that went really well. We came up with a plan and I'm feeling pretty positive about that. So now I'm just about to head to the allergy clinic to get my shot. And then I'm going to go to work. So, so I'm at the allergy clinic now and I just got my shots. And I also made a bunch of appointments. So I have appointments all the way up until October 3rd, which is awesome. And I'm also almost one year on immunotherapy. I got my first shot on August 2nd, 2018. And as I've said in previous videos, I've had really great results from it. So for anyone that's interested, I will be doing a video for my one year. If you have any questions you want me to answer about immunotherapy, so feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll link to them in the video. So now I just have to wait for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna have to work. So as you can probably tell, I'm at SJSU right now and I have about an hour to kill before I have to go to work. So I'm gonna call some district offices and try to get some advocacy letters to help save Route 65. So I just called AD27, which is the district that SJSU is in and I was on hold so I wasn't able to actually talk to anyone and then I called AD28 which is the district that I'm in and they said to send a request to one of the field representatives from the district so I'm going to try to do that before I have to go to work and then I'm going to call the other district office back sometime later today or tomorrow. So I'm back home from work now it was a pretty slow and uneventful day but now I'm just about to head to the Oster Neighborhood Association meeting. So it's the next day now it's Friday I just did my usual bus routine and I got seven boardings and now I'm going to go and walk to work. Okay, we have orientation today and we're having a video and photo shoot so it should be a pretty exciting day. So I'm back home now work was pretty good I got to meet some of you at orientation and I think the shoot went pretty well too but I'm extremely tired from waking up super early pretty much every day this week to ride the bus. So it's the next day, it's Saturday now, and I've just been having a chill day at home. I watched Netflix, I edited this video for a little bit, and now I'm just about to leave to go to downtown San Jose for the Project Now meeting, which is always really awesome. I'm really excited to see everyone tonight and talk about some activist type stuff. So I just got home from the meeting, it's 9.21 p.m. It went really well, we talked about a lot of climate change stuff. Project Now always gives me a lot of hope because a lot of the people there are actually younger than me and they're really interested in getting involved in activism. So if any of you do live in San Jose and you want to check out Project Now. We meet every first and third Saturday at 6 p.m. at the San Jose Peace and Justice Center. I think I'm going to end the video here because I need to finish editing it for tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you did this week down in the comments below. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.